So guys, today I have received this Philips uh, hair straightener and it seems that there is a problem with it. And the problem is that when you uh, close it, if you see the heater, the contact which should be uh, all over the same thing, it's not the same thing and there is a gap here on this end. You can see it. So there is a gap here. And I believe that the problem, uh, it's uh, maybe starting from this side because when you even close it there is a gap here and I think it could be the lock system which is causing this problem because also the lock is not working so there could be a problem here so let's start Since this is a new appliance I'm receiving, I never opened one. I don't know how to open it. I'm trying to figure out how to open it. And um, I will see uh, how can I do that. So I think I have to start from uh, here. Uh, I think this is should be, uh, this is maybe a push system that it will come out. I think I need to change my screwdriver. Let's use this one. So now we are going to open these two screw to release the wire. This is the mechanism here. It is similar to the electric kettles. So this is can turn. This is a one, one of the connector, and this is the other connector. So it's connecting in center of this. So now that the wire is released, we can remove the the pin here. is released there is a spring here which is it should be replaced oh you can see the problem now there is a piece of the metal stuck in this place so if we remove that we should retain the mechanism as normal This is it. This is what is was stuck there. So now that we did that, we are going to return it back. And by the way, this is the lock mechanism that it locks here on this part. So we are going to return back this as it was before. There should be actually a, a lock here. So we are going to return back the connector on its place the way it was. And put back the connector and this line, this thing should come in, in the center here. In the cut which is it's here. And then we are going to put back the cover. And we 
turn back the screws. Should make sure that it's fully tight. So now the lock system is also is working properly, and there is no gap here like before. So, so now I'm going to return back the the cap as before and just press it and that's it so first of all let's see how if it's working or not so it's working Also, as you can see, now this gap is not there anymore. It's resolved. So, thank you for watching and look for the next episode.